my understanding of the Akashic Records. Okay. Sorry, y'all. My house dirty. I gotta clean up, but it's too fucking cold, so I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> anyway, the Akashic Records. It's different ways to pronounce them. I've heard other people say it different ways. Akashic, Akashic, however you say it. The records of you, okay? The records of you, if you know what I'm talking about. I think the misconception is, I wouldn't even say it was a misconception. I think that when people hear about the Akashic records, you always assume it's a library, okay? People tell you about the Akashic records, they... They say it. It's this big building. The biggest library you'll ever see in your life. And it has rows and rows of books about you, your past, your present, and your future. And there's only a certain way you can get to these Akashic records. You got to be so deep in meditation. You got to just be tapped in. You got to wait for the angels to come show you all this shit. You know me. I'm always trying to prove people wrong. There are multiple ways to have an orgasm. There are multiple ways to make pizza. There are multiple ways to have a baby. So there can never be one way to achieve a goal an ascension, or growth, okay? I'm always with the cliff notes. I'm not going no long-ass way to get to the fucking corner. I'm not doing it. So, however you can get to your Akashic Records, cool. If you meditating and then you got, uh, you got, uh, the angels, they come and say, yo, come here, I want to show you this. That's what's up. Ain't nobody come show me shit. Don't nobody teach me nothing. But from my understanding of what Akashic Records are, which is your past life experiences, it is the same thing. Hold on. Let me see if I could break this down differently. Okay. Going to college would be like studying to get to this hall, to get to this library. But there are people who are in college who only do the cliff notes, right? They want to do the, the smallest way possible so they can still get through without taking up so much time. Now, you could beat the box by using plant medicine. Because that has all your shit right there. It's not just a book to read. What if you cannot read in any language at all? Can you never access your records? No. The Akashic Records is your memories. What do you remember? What do you remember that is not real to you, that doesn't make sense? What do you remember? Do you remember swimming in an ocean that you've never been to? That's your Akashic Records. You have them. You had a dream that you always have. It makes no sense. You can't understand it. That's your Akashic records. When I had my um past life experience and I seen them killing me, that's my Akashic records. When I was able to go back and see how many fucking lives I have been Native American how many? It's been so many. I have not had a, a um, past life experience where I was a white woman or a white man thus far. I haven't had an experience where I was an African from Africa at all. I have always been melanated. I have always been aboriginal. And I have always been a leader. Those are my records. And that memory is there if you just 
think. That's all you got to do is clear. Clear all this space around you. And tell yourself, I want to have a memory. I want to have a memory. Show me what I was. Show me what I was. Show me what my power is. You have permission. It's your fucking life. All you got to do is ask yourself and yourself will tell you. Do not. Don't get so caught up in people's way of doing things. Do shit your way. I had a whole conversation with my dog just yesterday morning. I've had this fucking dog for eight years. And I never talked to my dog before. And had my dog talk back to me. And I'm looking at my husband like, are you seeing what's happening? He was like, yeah, babe, I see it. Yeah, of course it wasn't exciting for him because he fucking talked to animals all the time. That's what he do. He an animal talker. But anyway, for me, that shit was lit. I was like, yo, my dog talking to me. That shit was crazy. Now, I'm not talking about when she say, no, or I want to go out because that's clear. You can actually hear the words coming out of her mouth. But I'm asking her, because she's coming to the end of her lifespan, her life cycle, I said, you know, I was in there sad, and I was like, I don't know if I'm ready for you to go. Like, I need you. And I said, I know that we have been traveling throughout space and time. And I said, I know two times where we was together. And I asked her, I said, was it only two? And she said, no. So I said, was it five? And she said, no. I said, was we together for seven life cycles? And she said, yes. Ah, my fucking dog was talking to me, answering me. So I'm like, is this shit really happening? And I said, so are you going to come back when you go? So I'm not alone again. And she touched my face and said, Because I simply said, I want to talk to my dog. I don't want my dog to to pass on because of her age, because she's 84 in dog years. And not know how much I love her. But she knew. And she was able to help me. Move on. The reason why I got there to that level of understanding is because I asked myself, how do I communicate with my dog? And myself said, just communicate with her. Hmm. At the end of that conversation, I said, Augustus, why the fuck didn't we not just record that? And he said, because it's nobody business. Mm-hmm. So, your Akashic, Kashic, Kushik, whatever you want to call it, those records, it's not just the library. Maybe that's how those people access it because that's how their mind is set up. Maybe their mind can only understand it in the library form. But rather it's in a book or visually playing as a video in your head. It's still the same records. You just have to know. You just have to pay attention. Pay attention. Akashic records. Figure out who you are. Remember your power. 
Access your power. Be still with your power. And keep your motherfucking mouth shut about what you can do. Ah, look.